just watched Dunkirk and it was amazing. And now I'm about to watch Game of Thrones and I'm so excited because like Game of Thrones coming into London, like, go on, it's kind of cool. Um, it's a bit of turbulence. Ooh, oh, finally the lights are going off. Um, there's a bit of turbulence, but so far so good, I hope. I had such a lovely time at the airport. I had my mum, my niece, Mia, and my friends Nick and Kano come to see me off. And it was just a lovely way to kind of say bye to home for a bit. Anyway, I will talk to you guys a bit later. Hi everyone. So I am officially in London and look who I'm with. I'm with my dad. Say hi. 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 So um, it's about, it's almost four o'clock. We're, oh no, sorry, it's 20 past four. And we're just on our way to Westfield. Um, I've been here since about midday, but um, yeah. So I'm just gonna do a bit of quick shopping just to keep me awake. Um, today's a no makeup day because I can't be bothered. And yeah, all right guys. Bye. Hello, hello. So today was an interesting day. Um, Dad, my auntie and I went to this Italian lunch thing and we were there for a very long time. Uh, the food was mediocre and, um, you know, but whatever, like, yeah, yep, yeah, it was fine. Then we went to Oxford Circus and we just got some gifts for my nieces and nephews um, from the Disney store. And now I'm just waiting for my cousin to come so we can go to dinner. Um, I literally, like this morning, was thought I'd have time to get ready and everything like that. And then dad was like, oh, let's go to a cafe. And I was like, yeah, cool. And then I found out while we got well, we're at the cafe that we weren't coming back home. So I was like, I had no makeup on, as in like, just not dressed as nicely as I would have liked. But you know, that's okay. Tomorrow, we're leaving for Peppers. And, but get this, yeah. We're leaving at 4.30 a.m. Mm. So I've got to pack now and get all that ready. We've already checked, like checked in and um, we've got the boarding passes, so we just have to jump on, but yeah, so anyway, I will chat to you guys soon and I'll keep you posted and that's about it. Hey guys, so basically I am at uh, Gatwick Airport. I am about to leave for Paris. Um, I just bought a book actually, I just it was a complete cliche and bought Not That Kind of Girl by Leonard Dunham. I don't know, I didn't hear it properly. <laughs> so I'll listen to the next one. Oh, the most annoying thing happened. So for some stupid reason, I didn't check to see how much my um, Mario Badasco, that's how you pronounce it, face wash, how many mils it was, and ended up getting confiscated from me through security. And I was fuming, but that's okay, these things happen. Anyway. I'll let you guys go and I'll check in once we get to Paris. Bye! I'm happy I go on the stair machine at the 
gym because Dad's dying. Look. Climb to the top of uh, what's it called? The Arc de Triomphe. And we went to the Eiffel Tower, but the line was insanely long, so we decided against it. But we went, we just we walked around a lot, and it's just been so, so beautiful. This part of Paris is just incredible. Like, I've been here before, but I feel like I just haven't experienced it this way. And I think being with my dad as well, it just made it that little bit better. But yeah, I'm freezing, but uh, we're gonna go get something to eat now and then. We're gonna try and like just come back but stand at the top of this place, stand up there and get some photos of that all lit up because we got photos before but it was still like daytime and they hadn't lit up yet but honestly look how gorgeous it is. Yay! So to wrap up today, Dad and I have just gone back to the hotel. It's about 8.30. I am absolutely exhausted because we had a like 3.30 a.m. start and I like woke up at 2 and couldn't get back to sleep so I'm tired. But we had a really cool day. I can't get over it. We had such a nice day. We had this dinner though at this like amazing restaurant. Like not was it? Okay, no, hold on. This restaurant looked amazing from the outside because from where you sit you can see the Eiffel Tower and the interior looked amazing, whatever. Anyway, we went in, like whatever, whatever. Dad was like, oh, it's a bit expensive, but like, let's just do it. I'm like, yeah, let's just do it. I ended up getting a burger because like, I, I've got this thing at the moment, like, I'm not proper stressed about money but like the currency conversions are just fucking me up because I'm just like we're getting ripped off Australians who travel to Europe get ripped off and yeah so anyway um, I got the cheapest thing on the menu which was this burger the burger ended up being 40 Australian dollars for a burger and like a little tiny cup of chips so, <laughs> um, like, Dad was like, don't worry about it. Like, when are we going to have dinner in, like this in Paris again? And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> $40 for a burger. Anyway, we've walked a lot. We've had a really big day, and I'm very excited to just go to bed. But, yeah, um, I'm going to have a shower, and then that's it. I am conked out. Tomorrow, I want to try and do a few, fa like, a fair few things as well, so... We'll see how we go. All right. Au revoir. Bon. Fun fact about this particular section of the Louis Vuitton store. Last time I was here, I started crying. I'll give a story time a bit later, but I just wanted to show you. Say hi, Papa. Hi, baby. <laughs> Here's my dad. He thinks he does videos so well. Like, he does. They're not bad. 
but he's like getting them with like little poles and shit and he's getting mad at me for like going and getting the better shots anyway hi anyway we just uh, walked the Champs Elysees and now we walked past the Grand Palais and the Petit Palais and now this is where we are grab some breakfast first because across the road from us there was this really nice bakery like it's not it doesn't look very nice but the food and the like coffee oh not the coffee dad doesn't like the coffee but the pastries were really nice we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head to the Louvre and see if we can get in if the line's not too long so now I'm just getting ready I guess I can talk you through it as well so first off I use the Dermalogica Oil control lotion, which you can't really see. <coughs> there you go. That's what it is. Because um, I had a lot of problems with my skin the past like month or so. Like I haven't been able to use my usual foundations and stuff because my skin has just been so oily. Um, I've got a blog post coming about that. So if you want to know more, like go and look into that. My hair's just not working out today either. I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, I've got a mini professional. I'm just going to use that as my primer. May I just say as well, I used to use the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. And to be honest, I think it's just as good as Professional and it's like half the price. So while I'm traveling, like, I mean, I did buy some eyeshadow palettes while we were in Paris, but what I've been doing is using my Becca Chrissy Teigen uh, palette, which is the highlighter highlighter palette. And I've just been using that as my eyeshadow as well. Good that I'm in winter right now but I know once I get home and it's summer like I'm just gonna look really pale I don't know I like it that it's super matte but at the same time it's like the coverage isn't as like it's buildable but it's not as good coverage as I would have liked it to be and then again like yeah like I said it's buildable but I just feel like I'm wasting product if I put too much <laughs> So now I'm just using the Urban Decay Concealer. I'm still super salty about my face wash. That just wasn't cool. Because the foundation is super light and I also put some concealer over the top, I am going to go over with a powder foundation. So I just use the Revlon color stay in the shade medium 840 medium because I think it just helps to set the concealer as well and it kind of just makes me seem not so pale 
3D Hydra lip gloss and this is in the shade 18. I haven't used it yet but I think I'm going to use my Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dolce because it's a little bit like it dries pretty dark and then I'm going to put the gloss on top. <laughs> I left I bought the Mac mascara I'm not sure what it's called but it is fantastic like I feel like I just keep leveling up with mascaras so I'm done so I just thought I have a quick chat with you guys just to pass the time while I did my makeup and fill you in on what I'm doing today because I'm not sure I'm gonna have much time to actually vlog while we're out and about yeah that's it anyway guys I will chat to you after Bye. <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, bye. <laughs> shopping center where the Louvre is and after this we're gonna walk around the gardens a bit and then go to mm, where are we going to Notre Dame Cathedral which is my favorite place in Paris got where we were for a second but seriously and like even from here you can see the Eiffel Tower right, right there okay so quick history about the Louvre Palace that's behind me and all around me this was actually in the 1500s built as I can't remember which king but it was one of the king's palaces and he was a big art collector then during the French Revolution in the 1700s they uh, seized the property and turned it into a museum and since then it's been the Louvre Museum so yeah it's just so pretty I can't get over it like oh Where are we? 
dove siamo? Siamo in cima al mondo. Cioè? Cioè? The Jardin Sicily! I would also just like to point out that Mary Kate and Ashley walked down this park. It, was, it would have been in summer. In Passport to Paris, the cute French boys. Okay, so we just got to Notre Dame Cathedral, which I was so excited about because it's like one of my favorite places. Long story. Anyway, turns out we can't actually go in because we've got our stupid suitcases with us and I'm a little bit mad about that but I mean there's nothing we can do. So we're sitting here eating a lovely sweet and I'm still laughing about that eating his head. <laughs> Nothing to laugh about. <laughs> I was just saying, like, I don't. I think the last time I laughed that hard was the last time he did that because <laughs> he walked into a door at home. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Hi guys. So it's like two weeks later, and I just realised I didn't end the vlog properly. So basically, uh, we got back to London very late because our plane was delayed and then they had to defrost the plane which is just like another thing I'll show you. And yeah, that's about it. So we really enjoyed Paris, we had a fantastic time. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.